Good morning. It's Thursday, June 13th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, We Mortals, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You've taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you've set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. As a pastor, I've been blessed to have a part in many funeral and memorial services. Now that sounds strange, doesn't it? I mean, who wants to hang out at funerals? Well, that would be a somber and even a morose perspective, but it's true. Sharing the lives and memory of many of God's family with other believers is more than rewarding, it's holy. The overwhelming blessing in it is when I've been privileged to know the believer for some time and understand something of their passion in life and their strength of hope for beyond this life. In the case of my mother, the challenge I faced participating in her service, considering how much she loved Jesus and his kingdom, was trying to figure out how to keep the service shorter than a week. A still greater blessing is when the one in the casket has taken the time to plan with me at least some of the details, scripture, music, what message they'd like to leave behind, and more. About 30 years ago, I preached my funeral sermon. Really? Mind what I'd like the pastor to say when it's me in that casket. I actually borrowed a casket from a funeral director friend to use as support for that day. I can tell you my bride wasn't too thrilled with us driving downtown Main Street, Gainesville, Florida on a homecoming Saturday and 100,000 people in town for the big game gasping at the sight of that big oak box sticking out of the back of the family station wagon. But hey, any chance to preach the word, right? For my homegoing service of worship, I have chosen Psalm 8 as one non-negotiable scripture to be shared. The base message is that I am merely mortal and magnificently mortal. I'm merely mortal in the sense that, compared with God's creation, I'm hardly a grain of sand on a huge beach. But I'm also magnificently mortal in that God allows me to participate in his glory and honor. In that sense, I'm merely nothing magnificently everything, and most importantly, eternally his child. The blessing in preparing ahead of time with your pastor is that an informed pastor can cooperate with speaking your heart at a time when those who remain need assurance and sometimes inspiration just to make it through the next week after such a great loss. Thoughtful people do this thinking ahead. After all, you only get one shot at speaking from the grave. Your loved ones need that blessing. They can't ask you one more question or call you back for one more loving touch. Those who received your loving care in this life deserve that touch from beyond. For you today, the next time you have some free time, invest in your friends and family and the kingdom. Do some deep thinking about what you'd like to be that day's outcome. Then call your preacher and have a holy conversation about that day. If he doesn't faint dead away from the surprise, you'll be surprised what that will do for your hope and your faith and what it will do for your pastor's preaching. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.